A few days before Shanann's passing, she sat down and wrote a few drafts of a heartbreaking letter that she would give to Chris. In it, she vowed to fight for him and their marriage. At this time, Shanann was struggling to understand what was going on with her husband. Since they had both returned from North Carolina, Chris was acting strangely and was shutting Shanann out. Shanann would try to talk to him, but he would either give Shanann the silent treatment or send her mixed signals about their relationship. One moment he was telling her he loved her, and they were planning a weekend away to Aspen, just the two of them, and the next he was telling her that they were incompatible and he wasn't sure he wanted the baby anymore. Shanann was devastated, and she did everything in her power to get Chris to open up to her, but he would not, so she decided to write her feelings down in these letters. She thought this was a good idea since Chris was not good at communicating. But sadly, it did not matter what Shanann wrote or what she said to him because Chris had already made up his mind and had chose his mistress over his family. The day she left the letter for Chris, Shanann was headed out of town for a business trip on the morning of August 10th, 2018. And she left this letter on the kitchen counter for Chris to read when he woke up. Shanann would return home on the morning of August 13th, 2018, but the letters were never seen again. Chris likely disposed of them somewhere outside of the home and his truck. These images of the letters were found on Shanann's phone. She had taken pictures of them to ask friends for advice with them. I am going to read the letter that Shanann gave to Chris first, and then I will read the draft letter that she did not give to him. These give us a good idea of what Shanann was feeling and going through during this time. The letter Shanann gave to Chris reads, My dearest Chris, I don't know where to begin. I am so lost for words. I can't even explain how hard this pain hurts. The last five weeks have been so hard. I missed everything about you. I missed your morning breath, your touch, your lips against mine. I miss holding you. I missed smelling you in the sheets. I missed talking to you in person. I missed watching you laugh and play with the kids. I love seeing their smile with you. I miss seeing you naked and on top of me making love. OMG, I missed having you around when I felt alone and upset. I just flat out missed the hell out of you. I really don't know how we fell out of compatibility. The only major thing that happened was between your mom and I. I can't change what happened and I will work with you and them to work things out. There has to be mutual respect from all parties. An apology from your mom personally would be nice. Our daughter's life can't be replaced. I've only seen you shut down like this once, and that was with your parents after our wedding. We deserve to have all family in our life and with love, not hate. I don't want to lose you ever. I will be civil and get along with your mom. We just all need to have mutual respect. I will do anything for you. The last thing on earth is for you to hurt. You deserve the world and I don't like when you hurt. It hurts me. I can't and won't lose you without fighting for us. I will always fight for our marriage and you. This is the hardest thing I have ever gone through, but you are worth it. Tell me what you need. I love you, baby, with all of my heart. Always and forever. Love always. Shanann. This letter just breaks my heart because you can literally hear her pain. She was so hurt and just wanted to save her marriage. She could have never imagined he was cheating on her and planning her death. Now I will read the draft that she wrote. This letter was never given to Chris. It reads, My dearest Chris, I don't know where to begin. I am so lost for words. I can't even explain how hard this pain is. The last five weeks have been the hardest. I missed everything about you. I missed your morning breath, your touch, your lips and kisses. I missed holding you. I missed smelling you in the sheets. I missed talking to you in person. I missed watching you laugh and play with the kids. That I love so much. I miss seeing you naked and on top of me making love. OMG, I missed having you around when I felt alone and upset. I just flat out missed the hell out of you. We haven't been away from each other that long since 2012. I really don't know how we fell out of compatibility, or if that is someone else's words. The only thing that changed this month was everything going down with your family. 
I can't change what happened, but I can try to work things out with you with them. But there has to be mutual respect for everyone. I definitely deserve an apology because of Celeste. I can suck up her going against everything I said to our kids, but our daughter's life can't be replaced. You said you would call them and handle it. From there, the strain grew stronger and stronger. The only time I have seen you this closed off was after our wedding. You were so hurt and angry, you were done with them. When we found out we were pregnant, I wanted to help you fix the hurt and pain. I knew it hurt you. We worked together to help you through it. I don't want to lose you ever. I will suck it up and be civil with your family because I love you. But there has to be the same respect on the other end. That is what's right. I can't lose you. I won't lose you without a fight. I will fight for your love. Fight for us. I can't imagine life without you. Scares me to death every day you go to work or we are apart flying away. I will do anything always for you, for us. This is the hardest thing I have ever gone through, but you are worth it. Just talk to me. Tell me what you need. I love you, baby, with all of my heart. Happy anniversary. Love always, Shanann. It was clear she was desperate to figure out what was wrong with Chris. She thought it had to do with his parents and their disdain for her. She was also very hurt by Chris's parents for not taking Cece's tree nut allergy seriously. When Shanann and the girls were visiting them in North Carolina, Chris's mom, Cindy, had pistachio ice cream out on the counter and was serving it to the children that were there that day. This really upset Shanann because if Cece had eaten it, she would have had an allergic reaction and might have ended up in the hospital. Shanann has had to take Cece to the hospital before for an allergic reaction, and it really scared her, so she was extra cautious with Cece being around tree nuts. So this upset Shanann, and Cindy and Shanann got into a fight that resulted with Shanann leaving their house with the girls. This was the last time they ever saw each other, and this was the last straw for Shanann because she felt like Chris's parents never respected her or Cece's allergies. And like Shanann said in the letter that she gave Chris, they refused to go to their wedding, so this relationship has been rocky from the very beginning. They are a big reason why Shanann and Chris moved to Colorado in the first place. Chris's parents also did not attend Cece's third birthday party over the ice cream incident. Shanann had reached out to them the day before just to let them know they could still come if they would like, but she suspects they blocked her Facebook account and phone number or they just simply chose not to come. A decision I am sure they regret. And just quickly, since we're on Cece's allergies, I thought I would clear some misinformation up that I've seen over the years. So Cece was allergic to tree nuts. This is not to be confused with a peanut allergy because she could eat peanut butter as long as it was not cross-contaminated with tree nuts. So tree nuts are grown on trees, hence the name, and peanuts are grown underground. So that's the main difference there. Tree nuts are pistachios, almonds, Brazil nuts, cashews, hazelnuts, pecans, and walnuts. And to make it even more confusing, some people can be allergic to some tree nuts and not all. That was not the case with Cece, though. She was allergic to all tree nuts and also kiwi. So, and Shanann shared this information with the family, so it wasn't new information. The Watts were aware of this, so I'm not sure why they didn't take this seriously. So, safe to say, there was a lot of drama going on between Chris's family and Shanann, and it was reasonable for Shanann to think that the problems she was having with Chris were because of them. But, oh, how wrong she was. She did suspect him of cheating that last weekend, so she was putting the pieces together and figuring it all out. It just didn't happen soon enough. She had no idea the evil that resided in him and that she had mere days left to live.